Shane was directed by George Stevens in 1953. It is considered an action drama western that received high acclaim upon release. A mysterious gunslinger named Shane rides into a small Wyoming town with hopes of quietly settling down as a farmhand. Taking on a job on homesteader Joe Starrett's farm, Shane is drawn into a battle between the townsfolk and ruthless cattle baron Rufus Riker. Shane's growing attraction to Starrett's wife, Marion, and his fondness for their son Joey, who idolizes Shane, forces Shane to realize that he must thwart Riker's plan. In the end, Shane must make several tough moral decisions that will affect everyone involved. We are arguing for the causality and influence of Paramount's new widescreen format, featuring a wider panorama than television could offer at this time period. The rise of television during the 1950s resulted in Paramount's invention of the widescreen, in an attempt to regain audiences' attendance by surrounding theatergoers within the atmosphere of the film, therefore establishing cinema and theaters as the dominant form of entertainment. The image on screen represents the standard 1.66 aspect ratio, whereby elongating the width and height of the frame, the audience is presented with the in-your-face background scenery of the Great Plains of Wyoming. Starting in the 1950s, television became the primary source of entertainment for Americans, where owning one became a commodity and allowed families to enjoy movies from the comfort of their own home, which also took away from the desire to attend theaters regularly. With this comes the era of the Golden Age, which is known for the sudden uproar of television sets, resulting in a shift in power between the two industries. According to William Bobby's article, The Studios Move Into Prime Time, Bobby explains how the demand for another entertainment system contributed to the structural changes within the industry in the 1950s, and how that shifted the balance of power between the two forms of entertainment. Paramount, being one of the major Big Five Hollywood studios, made it a priority to relocate audiences back into the theaters. There was a lot riding on this goal, considering the recent Paramount decision of 1948, in which the Supreme Court ruled to take away the exhibition rights of Hollywood Studios so that they didn't have control over all three processes of vertical integration, which was production, exhibition, and distribution. Another post-war major cultural impact observed in the 1950s was the rise of the suburbs. Followed by this was the rise of drive-in movie theaters on the edges of the suburbs. A widescreen film is any film image with a width-to-height aspect ratio greater than the standard 1.33 to 1 Academy aspect ratio provided by 35mm film. 1953 is when the widescreen revolution really took off. Studios started using a process called matting to convert their films shot in the Academy ratio to widescreen. This involved cutting off the very top and bottom of the image to give a ratio of 1.66, 1.75, or even 1.85 to 1, which became the standard that has been around to this day. An example of that year was the movie Shane. It was shot in the Academy ratio, but Paramount lopped off the top and bottom to make it 1.66 to 1. However, this resulted in a lower quality image since the film grain was enlarged. Studios had to come up with widescreen formats in their own way, showing product differentiation in the industry. An article published by the Los Angeles Times in 1953 describes an upcoming premiere of Shane on a brand new panoramic screen built at the Grauman's Chinese Theater. It was the first film to be shown on the West Coast on a panoramic screen. The film is described as a technicolor western allegedly of epic scope. The success of Shane and widescreen formatting was something audiences found spectacular. Here's a good visual representation of the mass appeal brought by Shane. Notice the grandeur and spectacle of the Midwest captured on widescreen. This is an advertisement for Shane playing at the Grauman's Chinese Theater, emphasizing the new panoramic screen that also featured stereophonic sound. The advertisement shows that, quote unquote, everybody loves Shane. Shane was a film that gained popularity from all audiences and drew them into the widescreen experience. Shane was a highly influential and popular film upon release. This is a contemporary advertisement for Shane showing at Pacific Drive-In Theaters. The popularity of drive-ins was increasing around this time, and Shane was a big hit everywhere it was listed. The ad mentions Shane is in its second record week of playing at the drive-in. 
you really have to go out and watch this movie for yourself to see what it's all about. But aside from that, we hope you enjoyed our presentation, and thank you.